Today is officially the day that I leave Ghana to <laughs> Officially the day I leave Ghana to the United Kingdom You melt the ice behind my stone cold eyes I turn the ashes but only just sometimes Inhale your smoke but you still act surprised It's not my fault when we end up capsized You call me crazy now So yeah, I'm leaving Ghana Not for good obviously but just for a bit Um, like a month And I'm just grateful to God That's just how I feel I just have so much gratitude Cause Oh, my hands are shaking But The days leading up to all of these have not been <laughs> the easiest but today is the day that the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it like this trip is special because it's not like any other trip <sighs> it's just been amazing grace the train and I hope I don't cry. <laughs> I feel like this is one of the flights that I'm actually going to be emotional on because like there were times that I thought would actually like make it, you know, visa issues, flight issues, so so issues. But see what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we waited for has come to pass see what the lord has done just this very cute jumper that belongs to my sister <laughs> and i see half of the clothes that are in my suitcase belong to my sister because she has a lot of like the weather is going to be a little bit cold so i think that's what they were saying so i packed like long sea stuff and i don't have that many but she does so i saw like a bunch of her stuff which feels good because she's always stealing my things so it feels so good that for once i've stolen her stuff as well anyway so i'm about to leave for the airport just waiting for my mom to get ready because she sent me to the airport because i don't do airports by myself after what happened last time when i was going to nigeria where i missed my flight i don't think i can ever go to an airport by myself like if i'm in this country so yeah I'm way, 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 way ahead of time. Like, I'm leaving by like 10 and it's now, it's not even 4.30 yet. So yeah, I'm actually way ahead of time. And I love that because I am not missing my flight. God forbid. Bye. See you at the airport. Oh, you know that, that reel that's like, when I do like this and this, I find myself at the airport. So check-in was pretty seamless apart from the fact that there were a lot of people at the airport on this day like i have no idea why because it was like a tuesday or something um but i was going with brussels airline and so our first stop was going to be in brussels belgium i thought that um, their safety instructions video was the most interesting and hilarious video that i have seen so far it was very creative and it just you would want to listen to it from beginning to the end so i actually quite liked it the flight itself was pretty comfortable um i it was like an overnight flight because we left accra around 10 p.m and we got to brussels in the morning as you can see to this very very beautiful sunrise and the airport was so pretty So Lucky Me had a 10 hour layover at the Brussels airport and before you ask no, I wasn't allowed to leave the airport so yes, I had to sit in the airport for the entire period. Let's enjoy it together shall we?
so I am still at Brussels airport and it's currently like 2 20. I've been at this airport for about eight hours now and I have two more hours before we finally leave to London so yep I don't know how I have survived the last couple of hours but I have it's actually come back it's actually gone by really fast what have I done to fill the time I literally napped a bit I napped I walked around I got hot chocolates and I didn't finish the cake they gave us in the morning on the flight and I had biscuit in my bag so I ate that um, I wrote a poem I prayed I listened to music I read the Bible um, and then I people watched <laughs> And I did a lot of plane watching as well, honestly, and I was just so amazed, like, I mean, I don't know why, but I was really just looking at the planes, because, like, they're right in front of me, like, where I'm sitting right now, the planes are, like, right in front, and I was just like, wow, it's really amazing how God is, because how, how do we get the wisdom to make something so big like this that actually flies in the air like the physics of it all and everything is just like wow genuinely wow to me so yeah i did a lot of, i did thing watching and yeah two more hours and we'll be out of here and i will be in london catch you in london for sticking around to the end of this vlog and i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the very next one make sure that you subscribe so you do not miss it it's going to be a london touristy <laughs> vlog yeah bye